Good morning and welcome morning. to Travels with the Russells. And today we're in a little bit of uh, Britain in the entrance to the Med. Can you guess where it is yet? <laughs> we're in Gibraltar. So uh, we're going to have a look around Gibraltar. We have been before. Definitely we've been before. Yes. So uh, we're going to try and get, if the cable cars are open, we'll be going up in the cable car to see the lovely apes. Hmm. Lovely. Looking forward to that. See you soon, come and join us. So the gate through the gate into the city. been before the place is very busy very popular tourist destination everything here is in pounds sterling rather than in uh, euros most of Europe runs in you can use euros yeah um, Spanish is widely spoken here as well as British English Yeah. Very busy. Very, very busy. Very busy. So walking down the main shopping street here, one thing that Gibraltar is famous for is its duty-free shopping. <laughs> in, in my world, I've never really noticed much difference between duty-free and not duty-free. Um, mainly, it's people that smoke and drink spirits. <laughs> and since I really don't do either, I love a beer, maybe as you can tell, but I don't know, I can't really identify much saving on duty free prices. Then again I suppose if we're going to go buy a, a Bretling or a uh, new Rolex <laughs> then I might find there's some considerable savings. I'm not <laughs> so Lots of jewellery shops, lots, lots of uh, high end Swiss watch shops. I do love a nice Swiss watch. Very busy. Busy little place. I guess one thing you uh, or I notice is the smell of cigarette smoke. It's everywhere, and a lot of people smoking cigarettes. But you know, see quite a few people in the UK with vapes but not so much cigarettes these days. So it is noticeable that the place stinks for cigs. Now that was similar in a lot of areas of Spain, but certainly here in Gibraltar you go, well, it's a bit stinky. Cigarette stinky. It's all right if you smoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where it all went on. <laughs> not today. So unfortunately our time is quite limited, the uh, Iona departs at 2 o'clock which gives us a very short window to explore 
Gibraltar. As I say, we've been before, so we're not bothered, but we did want to take you up on the cable car. But if there's a big queue for it or it's closed, then we won't be able to. So we'll see when we get there. It's a busy place. <laughs> Very busy. These are the cute, cuddly toy to uh, show the monkeys. But in fact, they're in fact Barbary apes. And they're not cute little monkeys. They're thieving, thieving apes. <laughs> Charlton Hester said, get your hands off me, you dirty monkey. Something like that, Planet of the Apes. If you had a guard stood in there, <laughs> to be <laughs> Yeah, fish and chip shops and little pubs. So we've arrived at the cable car. Big queues. And it's not exactly what I'd call a quick turnaround. probably the slowest cable car in Europe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, when you compare it to places like Madeira, where there's a cable car every 30 seconds. Yeah. We've been here five minutes, and the cable car hasn't even come back down yet. So, unfortunately, due to our time constraints, and this amazing dark cloud that's just come over us. <laughs> as if... We're not off to see them, eh? We're not off to see them filthy monkeys. Thank God. <laughs> So that's made my day. <laughs> I really don't like monkeys. <laughs> they don't like me either. Oh, it's coming down now. There we go. And all you, all you want is just to get on my head. Yeah, well, if one gets on your head, that's fine. It'll nick my glasses, it'll nick my camera. Oh, the bad of them monkeys. Uh, apes. So, we're not going. No time. No, and it's funny time, but it's just too cold to come back. <laughs> There's that as well. Well, I don't, I think it's too expensive. If you want to get off and If you want to go and see everything, it's 37, it's 37 quid each. <laughs> Which, you know, seems a bit on the costly side. <laughs> Nelson, of course. <laughs> Dark clouds uh, just over my head, I think. So we'll see what else we can find. A uh, nice, quiet little courtyard. I'll take a seat for five minutes. bit better in here the hustle and bustle out there <laughs> St Andrew's Church so he just come back uh, a street from the hustle and bustle and you've got the quiet back streets sometimes much more interesting no footpath just road Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't worry, I'm not going to do a shopping centre tour. Wow, you can see through this lens the strobing is amazing. <laughs> I just changed the frame rate, just the strobing was stupid, so uh, uh, clearly the 30 frames to be knocked right up. That's better. Sixty frames made it strobe like mad. Thirty frames made it strobe like mad, but forty-eight and we're all right. Upstairs see what's there. The North Bastion and the uh, City Gate. That is the end of the runway. So if you don't know, the in Gibraltar, the runway crosses the main road uh, between the island of Gibraltar and the Spanish mainland. So there's a main road that crosses with the checkpoint. And they close the road to cars so that the planes can land and so the planes can take off. Now if they get too far then they end up dropping in the sea at this end when they're taking off but I don't think it's ever happened. Anyway that's the uh, that's the airport. Oh it's the plane about to take off everyone. It's gonna be close. Are they gonna make it? Here they go. that's our very brief trip around Gibraltar and luckily or unluckily we didn't meet any apes no apes no dogs cats yeah that's about it <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go get back on to the Iona now and uh, we'll see you on the next one so thanks for joining us bye, bye.